on Horseland. A legendary racehorse named River comes to Horseland, but Chili is so disappointed by the old horse's looks that he almost misses the important wisdom River has to offer. You don't know everything! going on around here, Shep? They're getting the place ready. Got a famous visitor coming by today. Famous, you say? This I've got to see. And I'm sure our famous visitor would like to see me, too. I wouldn't go out there. It's sort of dangerous. Please, I'm a cat. I laugh at danger. <laughs> Been Kitty Pizza! Told you so. Tina tried to warn you. When somebody has good advice to share, you ought to listen. Soon as we get the back stall next to Calypso cleaned up, we'll be ready for our guest. We'll want it to be nice and comfy so River can get better after his operation. Did she say River? The River? That River? River is coming here to Horseland? Who's River? Just about the most awesome horse that ever lived. Won the Longfellow Steeplechase four times. And the national and international show jumping championships. That's pretty good. Pretty good? River's a living legend. He could run all day without getting tired. And when he jumped a fence, it was like an eagle soaring in the sky. And in the show jumping ring, there was no horse more graceful. River never knocked down a rail, not one in his whole career. He won every competition he ever entered. There was never a horse that could compare with River. It'll be an honor to have a horse like River spend a few days in our stable. I'm sure we can learn a lot from him. Oh, just look at this place. We have to look our best to greet a champion. <laughs> <sighs> Finally finished. Chili! We just finished cleaning and you're already messing the place up. I think he's trying to tell us something. I think they want to look their best for River, too. <laughs> yeah, right. Like, you can read their minds. Maybe Sarah's right. Wouldn't hurt to spruce them up a bit. wasn't easy, but it sure was worth it. I don't think the horses or the stable ever looked better. Oh, Chili, what is it now? <laughs> I think he's trying to tell us that we need to clean up too. A little welcome speech all worked out, so don't say anything and let me do the talking. <sighs> huh? What? Oh, 
dear. My goodness. Poor old fella. I hope he'll like it here. He'll need a lot of rest to get his strength back. Once my grandmother had an operation and it took months for her to get back to normal. We'll take good care of you, River. We'll be right back, River. Wow. Those races must have been a long time ago. But that can't be River. The champion River? River? Yep, that's me. Hello, River. My name's Scarlet. Nice to meet you, dear. Hi, I'm Chili, and on behalf of the horses of Horseland, <coughs> I want to say it's a great honor Mighty to- Mighty nice of you, but if you don't mind, I've had a long trip, and I could use a rest. Plenty of time to talk later. Um, right, later. Here you go, boy. <sighs> Come on, River. Let's get you some water now. I guess he's changed from when he was young. Like Pepper said, it was a long time ago that River won those races. Yep, long time. Haven't competed in over 15 years. Retired, you know. Turned out to pasture. But I remember those days like yesterday. Tell us about the first time you won the Longfellow steeplechase. <laughs> you had to be the fastest horse ever. I was fast, but racing. Especially a steeplechase isn't all about fast. Pacing's just as important as speed. Start off too fast and you don't have anything left for the finish. That's a hard lesson to learn when you're young and feeling your oats. But it's important. Mmm. There's that sorghum mixed in. Tasty. Best sorghum I ever had was in Kentucky. I was training for a race there. Tell us about the race. They call it Kentucky Bluegrass Country, but I don't know why it isn't blue. <laughs> it's green, like any other grass. Good, though. Some of the best I ever grazed. Florida's got good grass, too, but it's sandy. The ground, I mean, not the grass. Some big hero. All he cares about is grass. California's good, but you gotta water the grass a lot. <laughs> Say, did I tell you about the time? Reminds me of a stable where the oats were so good. <laughs> Guess I told you that one. Come on, Zoe! Pepper! You can do it! Bad, Pepper. You'll do better next time. Hmm. I barely brushed the rail. Must have been a breeze. Must have blown the rail off. I think you need to settle yourself down and shorten your stride coming up to the fence. It's not so much the speed you carry into a jump that matters. It's hitting the mark for your takeoff. You youngsters are too impatient sometimes. It was only a practice. <sighs> Get used to knocking down rails in practice, and you'll knock them down when you compete. All I'm saying is, the fastest ride is a clean ride. Come on, Chili. Let's show them how it's done. Okay, watch my stride and hit my takeoff points. Let's go, Chili. Going, Chloe. Great job, Chloe and Chili. Bravo! You did it. Great ride, Chili. I'm so proud of you, Chili. What'd you think of that? Not bad for a youngster. <laughs> River? Uh huh. Sorry. Must have dozed off. Horse nap, you know. How'd the ride go? Okay. Too bad you didn't see it. Ugh. 
That horse is way too critical. I'll be glad when he leaves. Aw, uh, cut him some slack, Pepper. He just had an operation. And he tells those long, boring stories. But he's not boring. Don't tell me you like listening to that long-winded old know-it-all. Well, I... I mean, I... He thinks horses today can't do anything. Not like the horses when he was young. Shh. He's coming. Mm. Well, I'm not gonna stand around and listen to that boring blowhard. Mm. You sure is good. Not as good as Kentucky bluegrass. Which isn't really blue. <laughs> Guess I told you that one. Yeah, you did. Come on, let's graze by the fence. You coming, Chili? Suit yourself. Where are they off to? I don't know. You better tell them not to go too far. There's a storm coming. A storm? But there's not a cloud anywhere. When you get my age, you feel a storm in your bones. Especially if it's going to be a big one. Say, did I tell you about the time? No, but that's okay. I have to go. Chili? Hold on, boy. Where are you going? Sometimes I don't know what gets into these young'uns. Guess Chili ran off on account of me. Can't leave him out there alone. Not with this storm coming. Still got my touch. Don't want anybody else getting out. Now to find that young'un. All my life I've heard about River. Wanted to be like him. But he's nothing like I thought he'd be. Pepper's right. He's boring. Chili! Where are you, young'un? Box Canyon. Ought to be a good place to hide. River will never find me here. Why'd you go and run away? Told you there was a storm coming. There's no storm! You don't know everything! Never said I knew everything. I'm sorry if it seemed that way. Guess I need to work on understanding young horses. You're just so... Different from what I expected. A champion, you mean? Something like that. That was a long time ago, Chili. Horses change. Sounds like you young'uns could work on understanding old horses, too. Come on, let's get back before that storm hits. What storm? That storm. Oh, yeah, that storm. Follow me. It's blocked! We're trapped! We'll have to jump if we can. On this leg, I'd never make it. But you might. I never jumped anything that big. You have to. Only way to bring help. Just remember... I know. Shorten my stride. Pick my takeoff point. I guess you young'uns were listening. I can do it. Short strides, hit my takeoff point. Here goes! I'll be back with help! Reminds me of me when I was his age. The rain. I've got to hurry. Pacing's just as important as speed. 
Start off too fast. You don't have anything left for the finish. River's right. I gotta have strength to lead them back. Let's get the horses in the stable. Wait, where's Chili? He's not here. stable, but it'll do. Just hope Chili remembers what I told him. Come on, we better hurry. Not too fast, Pepper. River says you have to pace yourself. If we don't, we'll be too tired to do anything when we get there. Yeah, I guess he's right. <laughs> hope those youngins get here soon, before I catch pneumonia. aren't too tired to move it. Myself stuck like that. You wouldn't have gotten stuck if I hadn't run off. I was acting like a spoiled colt. I guess I gotta remember. My stories aren't so interesting to a herd of young horses. They're interesting if we take the time to listen. Chili's right. There's a lot we can learn from. Nothing like a nice, warm stable and a good bag of oats. Reminds me of a stable where the oats were so good. But you youngins don't want to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about the time you won the Longfellow steeplechase. You don't want to hear about that, do you? Yeah, we do. If you don't mind telling us. Well... There we were, lined up at the start, with me next to Fleetmaster, big chestnut stallion. He was the favorite, he'd won the year before. This was my first big test. Don't mind telling you, I was nervous, but that went away as soon as the flag dropped and the race started. You never heard such a thunder of hooves. It was like we struck lightning from our horseshoes. Fleetmaster and I went down the street, I was young and strong, but I knew that wasn't enough to win. I had to race smart, had to pace myself. So I dropped back to save my strength, waited for the chance to make my move. At the last fence, I saw Fleetmaster was tired, and I gave it everything I had. Closed the distance, and we were side by side, neck and neck, and then... I passed him. I crossed the finish line, and I'd done it. Won my first big race. 
Yes, sir. There's a lot we can learn from each other, if we care enough to listen. <laughs> <laughs>